Good. Ryan, okay. obviously you guys have like a kind of familiarity with Atlanta, but it's like a lot of things have changed. No Matt Ryan there, you have a different style of quarterback, so does that make it a, like a little bit different than a normal? Well, each year is a different year, right? Yeah. So we're pre preparing for a different team. Still, it's Atlanta, um, but we're more focused on ourselves and what we're doing, and, and that's been the focus uh, this week for sure. Does Kyle Pitts already present one of the more unique sort of matchup issues sure. that you're going to see? Yeah, he's a good player, really good player. He uh, can line up all over the field. Uh, there's some matchup to issues. Um, but we have a plan, and, and we feel confident that our plan, you know, we can handle that player. Brian, how, how important is the collaborative culture in the defensive line room just as far as growth for all those guys? Like, How much comes out of that, those guys just kind of sharing ideas and working together? We've been together for a long time. Yeah. You know, most of those guys have a couple of early additions here this camp um, with Contavia Street. Um, but the rest of the group really has been together, you know, for two or more years. And so same terminology. Um, they talk the same, you know, they see things similar. And so it just becomes easier, you know, as we go through the process of going through the defense and installing techniques and things like that, it's just repetition, 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 and they just keep getting better. What have you seen from Davis Street so far this offseason that you like more? Yeah, he's pretty explosive. He's uh, a good pass rusher. Um, he really tries to do his job uh, the best that he can, and he brings it every day. And, you know, he, when he, when he, you appreciate a guy that comes to practice and comes to work, and you know what you're going to get every day, and that's what you get from him. How important is it to have a guy like Bradley Rosie in the secondary that can step in at any point and has a lot of NFL time? That and, and the multiple positions that he plays, you know, and so we can line him up all over the field and have him doing different jobs, and, and that allows us to do more as coaches and more with the scheme. So, um, and he, Bradley had a really good camp, and so we're looking forward to uh, him having a good first game. Ryan, uh, Pete was talking about how he gets to go home earlier now because they don't have to wait on Sean with his head coach responsibilities. You have to stay later now as a result, waiting on DA. No comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Ryan, I. Uh, not necessarily even with the design runs, but when you have a mobile quarterback, I can kind of get out and run around a little bit. How does that kind of change things from like the defensive line perspective, defense as a whole? Well, you know, the thing with the, the mobile quarterback, the guys that are running a little bit, is it's just something else you have to prepare for. You know, and, and in this league, there's some guys that run a lot and some guys that don't. And so each week is just a, a challenge. And, and this challenge this week is different than Matt Ryan, where he didn't run as much, but he still could. And so uh, we know who we're playing. Um, we know what he's done in the past. He can run. Like he, he's a really good runner. And so we've just got to be able to control the pocket, eliminate the lanes, you know, keep him in the pocket and collapse it around him so it doesn't get out, you know, or up the middle or around the edge. Is it kind of a unique situation when you're able to say, like, yeah, he's in his first year here, but a couple of years ago, he, that head coach was the OC and he was the quarterback of the place. Are you able to... Yeah, so look, you, you look back on what they've done in the past, and, and you know, but again, it, that's a different time, you know, and a different team. And so, you know, again, I'm going to say it, we've been preparing, you know, on the Saints and, and what we do, and, and that's been more important than, than more what they are going to do. So with the with the defensive end rotation now, uh, I know Cam has always played a lot of snaps, and you have ideally Peyton Turner being healthy and maybe playing more. I mean, I know you don't want to give away anything in rotation, but could you yeah. maybe illuminate your options if all those three guys are healthy and how that changes things? Well, we like to have a rotation, and Cam did play a lot fewer snaps last year than in the years in the past. Um, but you know, we've got six guys that can go in and play at that position. And so just keeping them fresh and keep them all fresh, particularly when the fourth quarter comes, because that's when they got to be at their best, when the game is on the line in the fourth quarter. And so we, we still want to rotate him, and he's going to get his snaps. But we don't want him to be a 90% snap guy like he used to be earlier in his career and still be as effective playing less snaps. That's the goal. Have you noticed uh, Marcus Davenport um, having to make any adjustments uh, because of his hand or is it like it never even happened and when you would have looked It's at actually him? he's better. It's better for him. It's really really. He uses his hand better. He you know, and and now we're to the point where he just you know, he's playing, he's not thinking about it. So
you're, you're saying better, say be, better, better yeah. yeah, because yeah. it used to bother him when it when it was like kind of crooked. Or Sometimes, yeah, painful. yeah, and so so you wouldn't see him use his hand all the time. But now that that's the pain is gone. There's nothing, there. and so now he can use that hand all the time. And so when you know he's coming back, he's he's using that hand better than the few years past. Than you know when he get a sprain or a break or whatever was going on in that finger, and he he just just didn't want to stick it in there as well. So he was bull rushing guys like that, with just kind of like one and a half hands. Or well, like... nine fingers. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So now he is rushing with nine fingers, literally. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah well, he's still look. He, he, the guy's he's an unbelievable talent, and and that is what you're seeing out there. You know, and and how he plays the game and the violence that he plays with. That's, you know, whether he's he's now he's able to use it just a little bit better. So that's that's what we've been focused on is is really getting his hands inside and, and keeping his head out and you know all the rule changes and things like that. Is there ever anything about like his power and athleticism that like surprises you when you're watching him? Does he ever make plays that kind of? It, it used to, not anymore. Um, just he can do things that you know, and he's so explosive that and he's about 290 pounds now so he's a lot bigger than when he first got here at 256 you know and so his body's matured and he's grown into you know what he is now and I don't see him getting a lot bigger but you know that's a good way for him 290 he's almost 6'6 you know and, and he's explosive and can run you know it's a, it's a good combination How is the along? great he's doing great um, see a bright future for him um, he's all in he's tough uh, does everything that Chris and those guys are asking him to do. Uh, I'm excited about the player. I really am. And, and he can play multiple positions. Uh, he can play outside. He can play inside. Uh, so it, it was a good pick, really good pick. And, and we'll see, you know, progressing through this season, you know, but uh, being a rookie and, and where he's at right now is pretty good. Do you feel like he'll play some different? He could. I don't know if he will. Um, because we've got some other guys that are playing some pretty good nickel, but you'll see them in games this year. Kind of speaking on that that depth, and you touched it with Bradley Roby, but you have guys there in that room that can fill in, and, and yeah. you know, in case you have you know, you know, injuries or you know, a difference the makeup of the, of the defensive back, room, you're confident in that depth. Right? Absolutely, you know, it's a long season. It's a long season, and and the guys that are on the roster now are at some time are going to see the field, you know, and and I think. Um, it's about as deep of a group that we've had here um, in a lot of years. Um, and then there's guys that can play a lot of multiple positions, and that helps. You know, when, you know, if you do have a nick or a guy misses a game, you can plug and play a guy and, and continue on playing good defense. When, when you're, when, when you're uh, playing these mobile quarterbacks, read and react, is it, is it a longer read time and then react, or is it like, how, how do you? As far as defensive line is concerned. Yeah, I think it's more on the play. You know, if you're getting some zone read plays, it's a little, it slows the game down a little bit, you know, because there's a, a, a run option and a quarterback, you know, pulling it and running out on the edge. Um, but other, if it's under center and it's based up, then it's still all the same, you know. And so um, we're anticipating that we'll get a few of those plays, and, and we've practiced you know, gets our offense and, and they run a few things like that. So we'll, we'll be prepared. Just a quick follow-up on Pitts. Cam Jordan, when we were talking to him, yeah. he referred to him as a, he said, I think he's going to be one of the most talked about wide receivers in the league. And I didn't get a chance to really follow up with him on whether he actually meant to call him a wide receiver. But um, what do you make of just him saying that and what it says about Pitts' dynamism? Yeah, you know, he's it's it's um, our offense uses the term the Joker, a, a Joker, where he can line up in a bunch of different positions, and they can use him out of the backfield or split him out wide like a wide out or putting him in line as tight end, and, and that's how we kind of look at that guy. Like he can do a lot of different things. You, you're going to see him come out of the backfield. You're going to see him shift over and, and swap back, and he just does so much. Uh, you know, and they use them really well in that role. I mean, they, they know what they have with the player, and they stuck them all over the field to make plays. You know, and that's – it's a lot easier to prepare for a guy that's just going to – you know where he's going to be every time. This guy could be anywhere on the field.